Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to Afternoon Tea Time in a Card. Just want to make sure I can see you guys. Hello, I see Lisa and Tony and Lori. Welcome everyone. So you guys, I had to get a new router today for my internet. And I'm anxious to see if you're going to tell me if it's still freezing up because this is a brand new router. My internet is very fast and I'm hoping um, that come to find out that it was my router that was causing my videos to freeze up. It's funny though because when I go back and look at the videos, they're fine. So it's just while I'm live. So you guys let me know if you're still freezing up because then I'll know for sure that it's not me. So good evening everyone. I am going to be creating, oh you know what I forgot? I forgot to put my my little microphone on. It's too late now. Um, I think I put on my description. I'm making a slimline card tonight. You can see some of the products here. I'm actually using our Bumblebee embellishments, the bow punch, the ornate frames for my sentiment. I'm using this one right here. So I'll need to dig that out actually because I need to cut it after I stamp it. I'm not using the Honey Bee Home stamp set, but I am using the Honey Bee Blooms, oh, some of these branches, and I've already pre-cut most of them. Oh, actually I am using the, the stamp set because I'm using the Miss You Sentiment. Let me bring some more stuff in. Uh, Early Espresso Ink. I'm using the Flowers for Every Season bundled uh, combo pack ribbon. This is the gingham one. And I'm using our Essentials Baker's Twine. I'm using this color right here. So let me bring in all the die cuts. I'm gonna make something pretty. These are all the die cuts. So this is from the Bow Punch. This is from the Bow Punch with soft sea foam. And then these are from the dies that I just showed you from, from the Honey Bee Home Bundle. This is Soft Succulent. I'm going to use all of these on the front of my card. I'm going to show you all the layers before I show you the card. So this is my slim line. This is Soft Succulent and it measures 8.5 by 7. So of course you're going to score it at three and a half. So let me go ahead and get a bone folder to flatten that out. So there's my slim line. Then I'm going to do a piece of basic white, eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and glue that on right now because all of this beautiful die cuts will go on the next layer. I have a really cool something to show you using ribbon. I saw a picture frame um, with this ribbon that I'm going to do to show you and I thought I can do that on a card and I did. Okay, next I have some designer paper. I have the In Good Taste which is, has all of these patterns. This one measures eight by three so that's going to be my canvas. I'm doing a slimline card, so I'm going to be using our new slimline envelopes. They come in three colors, uh, the soft succulent. I didn't grab a gray one. Let me get that right here. I've got them all right in front of me. There's the gray one. And then this is the white one, and I added the same designer paper on the flat. So this time I'm going to use the soft succulents just to show you the difference between the white with the designer paper and that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. So all I'm gonna do is add adhesive to the flap. It just dresses it up really nice. I'm gonna bring that over to where the fold is. And then all I'm gonna do is grab my paper snips and just use them to trace around the envelope. Very easy. I know a lot of you guys do this because when we do swaps, we do our card swaps, I get a lot of envelopes with flaps that are all decorated with designer paper. It's a good way to use up your scraps because it doesn't really take a lot to do this. Okay, so there's my envelope. Which one do you like better? 
They're both so pretty. It just makes it pop, just having that dark color on there. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. I've got basic white for my sentiment. I wanted to bring in, I'm not using this tonight, but because I'm using the slimline envelopes, I wanted to show you the bundle that you can get with that. These are the envelopes that I just showed you. So the slimline envelopes. This is the stamp set, slim sayings. You can see all the sentiments. I couldn't use this on my card because they're too big for the card that I'm showing you tonight. And then these are the dies. You get two that you can cut a layer to put right in front. And then you get two more that are like a decorative border. I've used this um, a couple times so far and I really like it. Okay, ready to see my card. Oh, and I'm also using Early Espresso ink. I don't know if I showed that already or not. This is the card I'm creating. So look what I did with the ribbon. I glued it down in a zigzag shape. And like I said, this was on a picture frame that I, I saw and I thought I could replicate that. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on the front so that I won't have a hard time getting my glue on. Oh, I see a lot of hearts. You guys like that. Isn't it different? Okay, so I'm going to glue that right to the front. And I'm going to start out with the ribbon. Now I've already got it cut at an angle. I'm going to go about halfway up. Start right in the center. Work my way down. Okay, there's my, I just added one strip. I'm going to start by angling my ribbon this way. I'm going to start that right there. And then all I'm going to do, it's so easy, I'm just going to pull some of this out. You're just going to flip it over, make a little loop on the end. You want to cover the adhesive that's showing. So you're almost going straight across, just a little bit at an angle and press down. You're just going to keep doing that. And then you're going to get a little wider each time. Not much. It's almost like a Christmas tree shape. So I'm going to keep going this way. Okay, so I'm going to go wider again on this one. Look how easy this is, you guys. Okay, so now we got to go wider again, about there. So if you guys have any ribbon that's just sitting there that needs to be used up, this is the way to go. There's that one. Oh, thanks for all the hearts and the likes, you guys. Okay, I'm going to do just another little sliver of glue to finish it off. So there's my last one, and then I'm just going to cut that at an angle. Look at my cute little flower basket. Look how nice. Okay, now we're going to start gluing all of these pieces in. I'm going to do the sentiment last. So what I did first, let me grab my liquid glue. I'm going to grab these two. These are kind of like my backdrop. Whoops, I got that one folded over. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the stem. I'm building from the back to the front. So it doesn't matter if this doesn't touch the basket because the front is going to be covered by the shorter ones. Okay, we're going to do this one. And then I had, let me see, I added these next. So that's going to go right there. Now I don't want, I didn't want these to face the same direction. So a little tip, when you punch the bottom or the, when you turn it over, it has little ridges. It's like the wrong side. What I do to make it look better, I take my bone folder and I just press on those edges to flatten them out. That way I can turn it over and use the opposite side. So here's this one. And then I used the little long leafy one. I'm just kind of building a bouquet. That's all I'm doing. 
Now I want to flip this one over also. So I'm going to flip it over and whoops, soften up those edges, flatten them out. You can see how I'm filling up my little flower basket. Now we're going to use three of these. So I've got one on each side. This one I'm going to leave as is. I'm not going to flip it over. Now on my last one, I added a mini dimensional just under the flower. I'm going to glue the stem flat. Let me peel my dimensional. I just wanted it to stand up a little bit. So it's kind of popped. There's my bouquet. This is going to be so quick, you guys. Okay, next is my little bow. Now I cut three pieces of the twine, 14 inches long, and I made a triple bow. So I have a lot of loops there. Or I think it's a double bow, actually. I'm going to add some glue dots. I'm going to add a couple. And I am going to add just a couple dots of the liquid glue around the glue dots. That's going to go right at the bottom of all those branches. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for a minute. I'm just going to do the sentiment with early espresso ink. So you guys, am I freezing up at all or is everything good? Let me know. There's my sentiment. Now, what did I do with my dye? Oh no. Here I go again with losing something. Oh, I see it. Right here. Let me just set this over so I can bring in my little mini machine. I'm going to go ahead and cut my sentiment. Use a little piece of tape to hold that. And remember the thing about staggering the, the cutting plate so that it grabs easily. There's my, isn't that cute? It's got a little bit of stitching around it. It's really cute. Okay, let me bring the card back in. Oh, I forgot my little, my two little branches right here. I got two more to add. Totally forget those. So I gotta sneak those in there. Just add a little bit more green of the sea foam. Almost forgot those. Get in there. Whoops, I need to push that in so it's covered. Okay, there we go. And then on the sentiment, I'm just gonna use mini dimensionals. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing on Friday for, um, I have a workshop on Friday on my business page. Okay, there's my sentiment. And lastly, we're going to glue in a couple bees. And I do need my glue dots for those. And I usually put two. So I'm going to stick in one in within the flowers or the, the branches. And then I'm going to put another one up here somewhere. And then a third one down below. So you guys, um, I did not, I almost forgot to, um, I, get, I need to pick numbers so I can pick a winner for the card. So I'm going to pick a door prize, a, a winner for the card. So there's my card. What do you think? Isn't that cute? And then we're going to add in... Of course, the envelope that I just decorated the flap with. Now, before, oops, that's the wrong one. Before I draw a name or numbers, I wanted to show you what I'm doing on Friday. So I'm doing my mini workshop, which is going to be three cards. I'm going to offer a free gift and three card kits. 
I'm going to be using the Awesome Otters stamp set. This is the door prize for tonight also. I'm going to draw a name for the door prize and a card. I'm going to show you one of the three cards that I'll be showing you on Friday. This one here. Isn't it cute? I'm using the uh, embossing folder on the background. Look how cute that is. So this will be one of the card kits that I'll offer uh, for anyone placing an order during my workshop. So be on the lookout for an announcement Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time on my Debbie's Designs page. Okay, let me write down two numbers. And I learned something, you guys, before you start. Um, because I watched someone else with another business. And when you guys start commenting, I don't see everybody's comments for some reason. She tells everybody to put an emoji after the word that I give you, put a little smiley face or something. And the comments, uh, Facebook does not filter them out when you do that. So I want you to comment with the word B for Bumblebee. And I've got two numbers here. We're going for the card first. So go ahead and start commenting with the word B. Okay, that's it for tonight, everyone. So I hope I'll see you Friday on my Debbie's Designs page. I will be doing that mini workshop. So good night, everyone. And thanks so much for visiting with me. Have a good week.